Texas Rising is a 10-hour mini-series event on History Channel that takes viewers back to 1836. It's surely a time of bravery. And joining us now are two of the stars of the series, Bill Paxson and Cynthia Adai Robinson. Welcome here to CT Style. Thank, Thank you. you for having us, Hartford. Absolutely. Now, uh, you're, you're obviously sitting in front, of the Alamo, uh, in front of the Alamo. Set us up actually about the story, Bill. Uh, you play uh, Sam Houston, correct? General Sam Houston, that is correct. And uh, Emily plays the Yellow Rose of Texas that the song was written about. It's really amazing for us to be here. This is our first interview of the morning, and we all got in last night. I haven't, I haven't been in front of the Alamo since I was about 10 years old, and my dad brought me and my brother Bob down here, and we stayed at the Minger Hotel. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a real honor to, to bring this story to a new audience. Uh, we spent six months in Durango, Mexico, filming uh, from last May to last fall. So uh, it's really fun for us to be here this morning. Very good. And then Cynthia, your character, how, how is he connected with, with Sam? Um, well, they've really taken the, the legend of the Yellow Rose of Texas and done a nice job of weaving it into this, this particular story. And so um, they've kind of set up a nice uh, triangle between myself, Sam Houston, and General Santa Ana, uh, played by Olivier Martinez. So you kind of see that dynamic play out. Uh, over the course of the miniseries, so uh, it's a it's a pretty great role. Now, how did your you character? Can't have an epic. You, you, I was going to say you can't have an epic war story without without, without a woman in the mix. <laughs> I mean, what are these guys really fighting over anyway? Uh, Cynthia, let's talk a little bit about your character. She's originally from New Haven, Connecticut, which is where we're based out of. How did she actually end up in Texas? Um, well, uh, the, the setup that they have is that she uh, goes to find her brother, who is amongst a group of uh, folks who are fighting at the Alamo here. Um, and uh, unfortunately, she arrives a bit too late. And so that it really sets up her whole kind of motivation for, for most of her story. Uh, she witnesses her brother die uh, at the order of General Santa Ana. So that kind of propels um, you know, her, her story throughout uh, the miniseries. How did both of you prepare for this role differently from roles in the past? Um, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> the, the nice thing is, uh, you know, you have all of your kind of historical research and you can pull out all the books, but once you get on location, I mean, we, we were set up in Durango, Mexico. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think the environment really informed a lot of the, the you know, the action and, and just kind of being there and uh, taking advantage of that. And, and we had a pretty good group dynamic as well. I mean, everybody was pretty game to, to get in there and, and just tell this story. The, 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 the Mexican crew, particularly all the artisans and the craftsmen and the art department, they really created this world of 1836. Uh, the, the sets and the, and the staging of this thing really are epic. I don't think uh, anything's been on television like this in, in quite a while. Uh, the battle scenes, the camp scenes, it, 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 it looks like they spent as much as they needed to to, to to capture this world. So for the actors, we were in a immersed in this world. It was all around us, and the, and the, the eye for detail all, everything had to be manufactured because, again, it was all back in the early 1800s. Um, I enjoyed doing a lot of research. I grew up in a household that was very familiar with Sam Houston. I grew up in Fort Worth, Texas, and uh, my dad used to tell me that I was related to him, and I didn't really find out what the connection was till, um, I started before I started when I was doing my research. I found out that uh, Sam Houston and I share common grandparents on my dad's side six generations ago. Wow, so, so it's, he's it's... my second cousin. He's my second cousin four generations removed. Wow, how, how cool is that? It's kind of come full circle for you there, Bill. Yes, yeah, so I, I, it meant a lot to me to play this part. It was an honor, but it was something I really wanted to get right. and. Uh, I got to go on a great tour. I, I started really kind of going to the places of his life backwards. I started out in Huntsville, Texas, where he died, and I ended up going back and tracing where he lived with the Indians on the on Hiawassee Island uh, in the on the Tennessee in the Tennessee River, and then I ended up in Maryville where he taught school, and then I ended up in uh, Lexington, Virginia, where he was born. And 
it was a great trip I took uh, about this time last year before I went to Mexico. Well, Bill, we, we can't wait to check it out. Bill and Cynthia, thank you again for joining us here today. Again, Texas Rising premieres Monday, May 25th at 9 on History Channel. So make sure you guys check it out. Bill and Cynthia, thanks so much. Thanks. Thank Don't you. miss it. All right, very good. Now we're going to send things.